In March 2010, I got the chance to link up with Mike Wilson, who was putting together a film shoot on the famous Chad's Gap. A couple days into the build, we decided we needed a little extra help to get things uh, rolling. We invited the Absinthe crew and Dan Brissy, snowboarder, got to session with us, which was super cool. Um, the jump took a couple days to build, and it was looking like we did some speed checks once the jump was built and it was pretty icy and kind of looked at the weather and, and saw that it was going to be a two foot storm coming in. So we, uh, we waited for the two foot storm to roll in and Wilson uh, had me guinea pig it. Me, Dan and, and Wilson all decided that I would be the guy to do that. Wilson ended up starting like 50 feet above me and just launched off it like flew like everyone was saying he flew into the valley and yeah, he pretty much did. Um, so the session went pretty well. I landed a double core 10 on like my third or fourth hit, I think. And I was like pretty happy with it, but the session had just gotten roll started rolling. So, you know, I wanted to keep hitting it and maybe just get the double cork a little smoother. So headed back up and kept sessioning it with, with Wilson. He kept going huge as usual, with Wilson. Uh, Brissy stomped some pretty cool stuff, but yeah, I just kept hitting it, and you know, I ended up coming up a little short. The speed, the speed kind of changed throughout the day, and kind of was messing with all of us throughout the day, kind of trying to adjust the speed and snow, and came up a little bit short, and ended up getting a concussion. I don't know if you guys remember Brent Benson from the Tanner Hall video, the ankles guy. He was actually there for this session and had some funny commentary as well. No! No! Oh! oh. Tim! Tim, you okay? Go check. He's on peace movement. You okay? Go, go, go. Uh -huh. Tim, you okay? He's okay. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. I ended up with a concussion and had to spend the night in the hospital, but came out of it well and got to ski some more that season. Looking back, I'm just super glad we waited for the snowstorm and waited for the fresh snow on the landing. It made a world of difference for sure. Huge thanks to Alta Ski Resort, Absinthe, and Poor Boys Cruise, and all my friends who came out and shoveled.